Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Learn to Code with Aditi. Today I am going to write the code and also explain you the algorithm for this frequency of the most frequent element problem which is there in read code. So let me start with giving you a small overview of this problem. We are given with an array of integers that is nums and an integer k. Our task is to find the most frequent element of the array after performing less than or equal to k increment operations and the point to be noted here is that the numbers can be incremented by only one. So as of now I can think of two approaches for this problem. First one is using binary search along with sliding window which will result in TLE and another one is a slight modulation of sliding window protocol in which we are going to continuously increase and decrease window size and check if all the elements of the window size can be made equal to the largest element of the window by doing at most k increment operations. So let us understand this approach by taking the second example given here that is the array is 1, 4, 8 and 13 and the k is 5. Before anything we are going to sort the array and we are doing this to ensure that the last element of every window is the largest element of that window as finally we are just checking if all the other elements of the window can be made equal to the largest element by doing at most k operations or not. So let us take this example. Nums given here is 1, 4, 8 and 13 and k is 5. So after sorting this array, we will again get this 1, 4, 8 and 13 as the array given was already sorted. We are going to take two variables. One is sum and initialize it with the leftmost element of the array that is 0th element which is 1 in this case and another one is answer which will be initialized to 0. This sum is going to store the sum of all the elements of a particular window. Now we are going to take two pointers left and right both of which will be initialized to 0 that is the leftmost element of the array initially. We are going to increment the right pointer to include the next element of the array in the window and left pointer will be incremented to exclude the leftmost element of the window. So considering that both left and right pointers are zero, current window will contain only the first element of the array that is one. So now we are going to check if the greatest element of the window can be achieved by doing at most k operations or not. So the condition for this will be greatest element of the window multiplied by size of the window. Size can be calculated by doing right minus left plus 1 should be lesser than or equal to k plus sum. So for this case we have 1 as the greatest element. Size is 0 minus 0 plus 1 that is 1 should be less than or equal to k that is 5 and sum is 1 again. So this condition is valid. As this condition is valid we are going to increment the answer to 1 as the window size is 1 and then we are going to increment the right pointer from 0 to 1 and include the left and include the next element in the window that is 4 and then we are going to add that to the sum itself and then sum will become 5. Now again we will check this condition for this next window. Now the greatest element is 4 and this will be multiplied to the size that is 1 minus 0 plus 1 that is 2 should be less than or equal to k that is 5 plus sum is again 5. So 8 is less than or equal to 10. Now this condition is again valid. So we are going to increment the answers to 2, the current window size. Now again we are going to increment the right pointer from 1 to 2 and include the next element in the window. Now the window is this one and we are going to add that to sum also. Sum will become 13. Again we are going to check this condition. Now the greatest element is 8 multiplied by the size 2 minus 0 plus 1 that is 3 
which is 24 should be less than or equal to 5 plus sum that is 13 which will become 18. Now this condition is invalid now. So we will not increment answer but we will increment the left pointer to exclude this element from 0 to 1. Also we will subtract that from sum. Sum will become 12. Now the current window is this one. We will check the condition again for this window. Greatest element is 8 again multiplied by size 2 minus 1 plus 1 that is 2 again. So 16 should be less than or equal to k that is 5 plus sum that is 12. So this will be 17. This condition is valid again but we are not going to make any changes to the answer as answer is 2 itself the current window size but we are going to increment the right pointer from 2 to 3 and we are going to increase this window size and sum will be equal to 25 now 12 plus 13 Now again we will check the condition. The greatest element is 13 into size is 3. 39 should be less than or equal to 5 plus sum 30 which is not true. So we will not increment the answer again but we will increment the left pointer from 1 to 2. Now the current window size is this. We will again check the condition but it will not matter as the answer is already 2 and then we will increment the right pointer again from 3 to 4. Now when the right pointer will go outside the array, we will end this loop and we will get the answer as 2. So the answer of this problem is 2 for this particular case. So let's go and write the code now. So starting with the solution, we'll take this variable left equals to zero, right equals to zero, and answer equals to zero. Now we are going to sort the array. Then we are going to take this long sum equals to num0. Then we will use a while loop to ensure if right is less than nums.length. Now we will check for this condition size that is right minus left plus 1 multiplied by the greatest element that is nums of right should be less than or equal to k plus sum. If this condition is valid then we are going to update the answer with math.max of answer comma right minus left plus 1 that is the current window size and then we are going to increment the right pointer and if right is less than nums.length still then we are going to increment sum with nums of right or else we are going to decrement sum with the leftmost element of the window and will increment the left pointer. Now finally we are going to return the answer. Here it is arrays. Now let's run the code. 
सैंपल टेस्ट केसेस आप आसे एंड ऑल द टेस्ट केसेस आप आसे सो दैट इट फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर वाचिंग एंड लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ आई हैव टू इंप्रूव ऑन समथिंग